Hey there folks, today I'm going to go through a quick demonstration of showing how to import a local project plan into Microsoft Project Online. As you can see I have my Microsoft Project client open and I am currently connected to my Project Online environment, right? So if I uh, navigate to open you can see I see the trainer environment here, right? So that's my Project Web App instance. What I want to do here is I want to open, uh, first of all, my local project plan which is my widget Project Launch 101. And there's my local project plan, my entire work breakdown structure. You can see I have some resources on here as well, uh, have some uh, you know, duration and so forth. And this is the project schedule I want to import into the enterprise. I have no other project plans open. That's the way you want it to be. You want just this one schedule open when you go to do your import. And to get this process going, I'm going to navigate to File, Save As, and then click this Use Import Wizard checkbox and then Save. And this starts off the import project wizard and you can see this navigation pane in the top left. It says import project. And this, this takes me step by step through the process of successfully importing this project into the enterprise. The first step is to map my local resources to enterprise resources, right? So ideally, um, you know, I'm gonna name my resources in a perfect world, right? Uh, my resources, if they're named the same on the local project plan as they are in the enterprise, this map resource process will actually automatically map the locals to the enterprise. So I'm going to click on map resources here and we'll see if the tool is able to successfully do so. And it, it looks like it actually did in this case, right? So we can see here's the local resources on the left, the enterprise on the right, and then the map to enterprise selection says yes to map them. Now, if, if, if it was not able to find the enterprise resource version, what would happen is you would see something like this. You would see Daniel Montez, then you would see no keep local selected, and then you would see the standard calendar selected here. And what this would do is give you an opportunity, well, the tool is telling you we can't find a, a resource named this in the enterprise. What do you want to do? And what you could do if you weren't going to assign it to this person is you could go ahead and select, well, yes, I do want to map it to an enterprise resource. And maybe in this case, I know that um, you know, Connie still got wants to work on this, so I'm gonna select that resource. And then you can see, you can assign the resources that way as well. All right, so it's a pretty straightforward process there. When you're done, you can click OK. And then that takes place and the resources will be mapped. And then you can select, go ahead and continue to step two. Now there, there's gonna be a, a validation part here. You know, if I were to have uh, some time of, of uh, you know, codes or errors that took place, yeah, they would show up here during the validate resource process. However, I do not have any errors. Everything went according to plan. Therefore, I can just merely click continue to step three at this time, and we'll go ahead and do that. And now we're you know, still in the import project wizard. The next step here though is to map my task custom fields. And if you have task custom fields, you know, th this is a great point where you can go ahead and select to map those fields. And then you can map them to the enterprise version of that field. So I remember I do, right? I had that one field that we talked about before. And we had a field called capital and it was flag one. And there it is right there. And, and again, this is the from task field. So that would be my local task field there. And then the enterprise version, and what, what's going to happen is because this is a type of flag, the uh, two right drop down here is automatically going to filter for those fields that are of type flag. Okay, therefore I can just select capital as the enterprise version. Click OK, and that will take care of that step. I can continue to step four. Now this is merely just giving me an opportunity. You know, again, it's validating uh, if there are any errors that are going to take place during that importation. You know, I certainly could if I wanted to. Hey, uh, you know, let's go ahead and uh, you know, show those two fields. Again, there's my capital flag, the local, there's my capital, the enterprise. Again, if I wanted to, I could do this, uh, the enterprise. And then I could go down here and see if the, uh, you know, detail level items are mapping successfully. It looks like they are. With that said, we'll continue to step five. And in the import project wizard, it's telling us the import is complete. Click below to save your project to project web app. And there's the save link. I'll go ahead and click that. And there's that save to project web app dialog box. And this is my you know, widget, right? Product launch 101. We'll keep the standard calendar here. It's going to be of type project. Only other type here option is template. And then I have the opportunity to fill out 
some project attributes. Now, remember, it's a local uh, project plan. We don't have project attributes on the locals. So, uh, you know, these I would want to fill out here, right? So is it capitalized? Um, I can select that value here. We'll go ahead and say yes. Uh, what other ones do we have? Do we have a location that it's uh, applicable to? Is it part of a program? You know, again, again, these are all fields that I can fill out as part of that import process. I have KPI, I have project phase. What part of a phase is, is it here to? So again, I can fill out whatever values that I want to here. Um, notice there are no asterisks on any of them, so none of them required. Therefore, I could you know, merely just go ahead and select save at this point. And if you notice in the bottom right, you'll see that the save is taking place currently at, at 0%. And it'll, it usually goes from zero and it'll go fairly fairly quickly from zero to 50 to 100. Uh, once that save is complete, I wanna go ahead and as you can see it is, it's complete. I'll go ahead and you know we can, we can go ahead and do a publish here. Then we'll go to info and then we'll click the publish button. And this will go ahead and, and take care of the entire project plan. It'll also give me an opportunity to create a project site if I wanted to at this time. I'm not going to rather, but I am gonna click publish. And then now you can see in the bottom right, instead of just the save percentage complete, we can see the publish percent complete here taking place, meaning now this project's gonna be published out to the Project Align Cloud and other people will be able to see it via the Project Web App Portal. And uh, let's go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and confirm that. And there it looks like the publish is completed successfully. Go ahead and open our browser now at this point, and I'm going to click on that and go to my trainer environment. And we'll click on projects. All right, and uh, let's go ahead and what we'll do, is we'll switch to a view that's not filter. We'll just go to regular summary. And I'll go to the bottom here. And there's my widget project launch. Okay, successfully imported. I put a, a start date of, of uh, later in July of 2020. If I were to click on the link for my project, it goes right to the schedule. There's the entire work breakdown structure that you saw earlier, right from the import. I can zoom in on my Gantt chart and there's that entire Gantt chart. And yeah, there you have it. It's a pretty straightforward process of getting those projects in there. Uh, hopefully that was you know, pretty straightforward. You were able to learn from that in the post along with this on, on the website. You'll notice that there are step-by-step -step written instructions as well for you to read. Um, hope you helped. If you have any comments, suggestions, you'll feel free to reach out to us. Have a great day. See you again soon.